Hi everyone. So today we'll talk about um, the Libra Ascendant and the functional and malefic planets for this Ascendant. Venus is the Lord of the Libra and in this um, Ascendant Venus has the Lordship of the first house but also the Lordship of the eighth house. So Venus being the Lord of the Angle House loses its benefic nature. Um, so it becomes kind of a neutral here since it owns the impressionable eighth house also. Now coming on to Mars. Mars is the owner of the second house and the seventh house. Now Mars here is a marika. It's a double marika. Being the owner of the seventh house, it loses its malefic nature, but then it becomes a marika and is considered a malefic for uh, the Libra ascendant. Jupiter is also malefic since it owns the third house and the bad sixth house. <clears throat> Saturn owns the fourth and the fifth house. Saturn uh, becomes a Yoga Karaka planet. Uh, it alone becomes the Yoga Karaka planet for this ascendant. Being the owner of the fourth house, it loses its malefic nature and it also owns the benefic fifth house. Um, coming to Mercury, Mercury owns is auspicious since it owns the ninth house and a, an impressionable twelfth house. Moon owns the 10th house, so it, it's uh, neutral for this um, ascendant. It will, it will form a, be malefic or as, um, a benefit based on how it's placed in the chart. Um, plus it forms, a, it can form a Raja Yoga with, if it combines with Mercury. Sun is a malefic here since it owns the bad 11th house. So this was all about functional malefics and benefics in the Libra Ascendant. I'll see you with the Scorpio Ascendant soon.